very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking so before i explain to you the reason why did i place this trade i just wanted to say something about the live trading videos i'm sure a lot of you wondering why i'm not posting as much as uh, live trading videos before two reasons number one uh, they are actually exhausting for me uh, because actually what you are seeing here is just like uh, 20 or 25 video uh, length but actually I spend more than three hours sometimes four hours to record one live trading session um, it's bad for me because actually first of all I'm trading on my live account and I'm risking uh, losing money because I have to explain and talk while I'm trading and it's not really something uh, that I really like to do uh, second thing is these trades actually have to finish in limited time because I have only like uh, three or four, four hours to record the videos and That is not really how I'm doing the live trades day on daily basis on daily basis I would like to enter one trade at the morning then close the market or close the meter trader Then again come back to trade after like one or two hours when, once I find any other good setup but when I'm recording the live trading session I have to actually open multiple trades at the same time and I have to stay here in front of the computer just so I can be available to explain to you the reason behind every each and every single trade and why this one we have lost it why we have uh, won this trade and so on second reason is actually speaking honestly uh, the live trading videos uh, they are not really getting much views as before uh, I can barely get 1.5k or maybe 2k or maybe in best scenarios 2500 views on each of these videos so they actually not bringing a lot of uh, benefits for me and I know I should actually uh, do more just to uh, for the for this educational purpose however it's just really exhausting for me guys I mean I have about 50,000 subscribers on YouTube and only I'm getting that much of a views on the live trading videos I mean it really not feels good uh, something is wrong. I don't know why we have I have 50,000 view uh, 50,000 subscribers and only uh, barely uh, Three or four percent of them are interested in the live trading live trading videos So anyway, that's one of the reasons actually or actually that's th these are all the reasons why I'm not making much uh, live trading videos as before Let's go back to the current open trade Let me explain to you something here the reason I have placed my trade right here, look at that, it's immediately falling, it's immediately going in the profit. I was just gonna talk about this right about this right now. I was just gonna say that I'm expecting from the candle to reverse exactly right here, because right here we can see that we have the resistance number one, <coughs> and the market has actually made the breakout. This is the bearish breakout candle. It has the breakout from that support level. So if we chase this candle, these candles, how they have moved, we can see that we had here a previous support. Sorry. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, sorry. We have here the support level. That support has become the new resistance. So we have here resistance number one. And we can see also that we had here another support level. And that support has become the new resistance. Right now, the market has reached that previous resistance right here. And the candle and as you can see I have placed my trade exactly right here at the very same level of that previous resistance when I saw the candle going up here I was gonna tell you I'm expecting from the candle to reverse right now because we are having right here the resistance number one and that resistance is on the creation of resistance number two that's why uh, I was gonna tell you that if you see the candle going against you you might expect it to, to reverse exactly at that point Thankfully, it has just reversed even before I continue the sentence. However, that being said, since I have placed my trade right here, and since today that I'm going to use the 20 pips a day strategy, I'm going to exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance. And the nearest support is exactly right here. Right? I have placed my trade on that based on that resistance level. And the nearest support or resistance to my entry is exactly right here. That's going to give me... 27 pips 27 pips that awesome that's awesome i'm gonna take it and therefore we're gonna keep this thread running i hope today we can reach uh, 
1250 or 1000 sorry i mean 1350 or 1400 dollars on this account uh, let me go back to the one hour time frame and let's try to find something else so please allow me to pause the recording and i'll be back to you my friends once i find the, uh, the next setup all right so let me explain to you that i have found something very similar let me, uh, let me just uh, place the trade right now so i will not miss it let's go to the one hour chart on the used sorry on the euro jpy so on the euro jpy what i see here is this previous resistance and as we can see it was also a strong key support level so we have key support and key resistance level right here and right now the market seems to be like it's creating a support level it seems like this resistance is becoming the new support right hmm let's check that in the smaller time frame let's go to the 15 minute time frame so on the 15 minute time frame what we can see right here is that the market has actually reversed on that support level however eventually these support levels has been have been broken out by this bearish breakout candle this last candle right here the red bar that is actually a strong bearish breakout candle and it indicates that the market is gonna continue the fall so let's go back to the one hour time frame and let me just choose my take profit level or actually no let's go to the 15 minute time frame and based on that i'm gonna choose my take profit level now let me tell you something the nearest support to me i have sorry hold on okay i have placed my trade right here based on that previous resistance look at that on the 15 minute time frame we can see that i have placed my trade right here on a resistance level so the nearest support is actually right here this one how many pips is that gonna give me barely nine pips i honestly by looking at the one hour time frame I think it's gonna continue the fall even below or actually lower than that it's gonna reach 22 pips however um, just for the safety reasons I'm gonna pick hmm I hate these setups because they don't re they don't really bring much profits however uh, I have to stick to my strategy rules and never break it so yep nine pips nine pips is enough nine pips is enough so let's accept it and don't be greedy let's just stick to the strategy so uh let me just uh, select the same almost the same as uh, the stop loss and yeah i forgot about the pound nzd to set also another stop loss to be the same amount of the take profit nice let's now move on and let's try to find some other setups so let me please now pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you the next setup once i find it wow wow check that out the pound nzd has immediately started the fall and it has already reached my target actually i'm gonna close it with 20 pips of profit because that is the strategy the strategy says 20 pips a day so i'm gonna take it and i'm gonna show you exactly how we can apply the strategy rules so i'm just waiting for the candle to fall a little bit more down it's right now in 17 pips of profit let me just be sure it's 20 19.8 yeah that's 20 okay come on come on come on come on yes i don't want to cancel it manually i want to i want to see it hit at the tech profit level there is a satisfaction when you see the candle hit the tech profit and just suddenly close it's a weird satisfaction you can know it only when you are trading your live account and you can see it actually you yes 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 come on you touched it come on it touched it come on oh, I have to close it manually I think do I have to do I have to don't do this to me come on there is absolutely no reason for you to stop here you can continue falling absolutely not damn it okay that is the satisfaction is gone but however we got away with $70 of profit which is fine but actually it has ruined my satisfaction of seeing it hit the tech profit level anyway now we have another nightmare with the euro gpy it's not reversing as expected so far and uh, let's go to the see, to see the one hour time frame still it's ranging anyway i think it's gonna be a very good deal and we're gonna get some good profit out of it anyway uh now we are back let me just please please again find uh, another setup so 
I need uh, to pause the recording and I'll be back to you my friends once I find the next Wow, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you something About the weekly analysis uh, this week I did not make uh, the midweek analysis video for good reason that there is actually no reason to make the midweek, the midweek analysis video Actually, all of the trades are going in profit except the USDJPY. So we can see right here the USD, uh, the pound USD is running so far in almost 85 pips of profit. AUD USD has uh, did not actually reverse, did not re reach our entry point, and it just reversed all the way to the take profit level. USD CAD, I'm not sure exactly where, but I think it has already yes reversed and is going in profit so far. I'm not really sure I need to go back to the live to the weekly video, but it is going in profit Euro USD however also going in more than 100 pips of pips of profit so far is going in 112 pips of profit USD GPY sadly did not reverse as expected it reversed for short time only for 17 pips USD CHF is a flying in the, in the profit actually USD CHF is um, in 100 pips of profit and it has reached 125 pips of profit so USD CHF signal this week is the winner it was the best signal among the other signals the gold sadly did not really reach our entry point and did not reverse as expected and it is still falling down uh, to our entry point so there was actually no reason to make a midweek analysis video this week that's the only reason I decided that I'm gonna replace it with the live trading video okay now we need to wait some more time to see these trades going in profit please now allow me to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later my friends to show you once we find the next setup <clears throat> so by looking at the AUD USD I think it's not a bad idea to place the buy order right here uh, actually I'm not expecting much of this setup but because it's very basic hit and run rules it's a very 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 basic rule about the bullish breakout candle and we can see clearly support number one and I have placed my trade on support number two I mean that's it <laughs> nothing else to explain there is no more analysis it's just as simple as that and that is the only reason I have placed my trade right here so let me just set my take profit level to be exactly at the nearest resistance to my entry and that is exactly where is the nearest resistance because I have placed my trade on a support level and I can expect from the market to rise a little bit more up to hit the previous resistance level guys it's really so simple what I'm trying to explain here on my channel that forex is so simple and so easy and you don't really need 50 screens in front of you you don't need to keep opening the 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 wire news you don't need to keep following uh, i mean what i'm trying to say here is forex is simple don't complicate it don't make it so complex uh, of course you have to be aware about the news of course that is the reality however you don't really have to i mean make it so complicated like like placing millions of indicators yeah, MACD and the uh, Bollinger Band the uh, I mean a lot of indicators especially the MA the moving average uh, a lot of people actually prefer that moving average shit I really prefer I really against it I don't, I don't like it anyway um, the trade is now not going well of course I have to explain what's happening so those who have been following me for a long time they know already that if you see a bullish breakout candle like that you can expect from the market to reverse exactly at the very same level of the nearest tail or wick to the breakout candle so by zooming in let me just zoom in like that and look at that that is exactly the bullish breakout candle and that is the nearest wick or nearest wicks to the bullish breakout candle so the market might fall a little bit more down to hit the exact same level of that previous uh, tails and then it's gonna reverse that's why I'm actually preparing to open another trade if the market keeps falling against me it's gonna go for almost six pips only which is totally fine uh, anyway I'm not gonna do that until I see a good price action or a good reaction from the candle that's a hint or, or actually indicates that the market is indeed gonna make the bullish reversal again I'm not expecting from the market to reverse and make a strong bullish reversal and hit that resistance. No, 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 no. I'm expecting from it to just make it a bounce right here, then make the pullback and then continue the fall. 
this pullback right here is my profit and it's my what I'm actually making a living from and this is my strategy strategy in Forex just to look for these bounces or these pullbacks however I have opened uh, three trades so far and one of them got the uh, profit which is the pound in ZD let's wait right now and see the other three trades also the remaining two trades <clears throat> and hopefully all of them gonna be in profit if one of them went in loss I'm gonna make another trade to recover so until then, let me now please pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two running trades. So sadly the Euro GPY is not going as expected and we can see it's very close to the stop loss. Uh, the good thing is the stop loss is just like 11 pips only so we can easily recover that from the other trades. Actually I can recover easily from the trade of the AUDUSD because it's gonna give me a profit of $102 of profit with 15 pips only therefore uh, the losses from the Euro GPY can easily be recovered from the AUDUSD. However I'm not gonna close the trade because we are right now on a resistance level and that is exactly where is the pair expected to reverse so please don't rush as I'm telling you always if it's gonna hit the stop loss then let it be I really don't care uh, $8 and 13 pips it's okay to lose them uh, however I'm not gonna close the trade right now I'm just gonna wait and see what will gonna happen uh, the market seems to be reversing right now let's go to the one hour time frame and as we can see if we go to the left we can see that we are right now exactly on the same level of a previous strong key resistance and it was also a strong key resistance right here therefore closing the trade right now is not really a good idea we have to wait and see the candles reaction to that level before we decide to close it so therefore I'm gonna keep it running and let's see what will gonna happen so uh, the other trade is going so far in, go in good profit the AUDUSD is going in almost uh, 5.7 pips of profit so uh, things are going well so far except of course for the USD, uh, Euro GPY uh, meanwhile I'm gonna pause the recording and also I'm gonna try to find some other setup that we can enter so until then uh, let me please pause the recording and I'll be back to you soon I'm so sorry I missed recording the moment of the take profit for the AUD USD. I was actually on the phone busy exactly what I told you in the beginning of the video one of the reasons I hate uh, recording Any, anyway how, however let me just tell you I have placed my trade right here as you can see and the take profit has been placed exactly right here and notice something here I have placed my take profit level exactly at the nearest resistance and the candle has reversed exactly at the very same level so what does that mean? That means the strategy is very good. The strategy is uh, given to you to secure the profits because actually if you are greedy, you might actually get all these profits, all these pips, and then the candle is gonna reverse for no reason and you just lost your trade. Some beginners of, uh, my, of my strategy that might, might actually set the tech profit right here. So they are seeking, however, uh, let me see how many pips. 20 pips exactly 20 pips that is actually very practical because it is called a 20 pips a day strategy and if you have placed your your take profit exactly right here because it is 20 pips you are actually breaking the rules because once you place your trade right here on that support level the nearest resistance to your entry is not this one it is actually this one that is exactly where I have placed my take profit level that is exactly the nearest resistance to my entry I believe this was very very practical and very useful lesson for those who are trying my strategy now regarding the euro JPY look at that euro JPY has reversed exactly at where I have told you and I want to be honest here I don't want to be like like the Oracle of Forex I don't want to pretend like uh, I know the future of <laughs> or I can tell what will gonna happen no it's only based on my analysis and my experience that we are having right here a resistance and we can expect from the market to reverse exactly on that level and that is exactly what happened the market has reversed was there a chance of a breakout yes absolutely yes was there a chance or a possibility of me to lose this trade absolutely yes I'm not pretending I'm not telling you that I I was really sure it's gonna profit no there is a chance that the market actually might go a little bit more up and then fall down and of course I'll, I'm gonna be very 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 angry very mad very upset very um, whatever and however thankfully that didn't happen so anyway 
we can see that the market right now is reversing and hopefully it's gonna be in profit and the pressure from the bears is strong we can see that the market is indeed falling down so let me please now pause the recording and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with the trade of the euro jpy all right so actually i'm thinking to close this trade in the loss because right now what we can see uh, right now the pair is ranging on this support level right here and there is a chance that the market might continue to rise against me so i think i'm gonna just close this trade with the loss Hmm. It was one thousand three hundred dollars. Look at that! Mm. It's just falling <laughs> after I closed my trade. It's okay. As I told you in the beginning of the video, I want to reach this account to one thousand three hundred or one thousand three hundred fifty. That target has been reached. We have grown this account for almost uh, two hundred dollars profit, and that is what's important. And actually, I need to stop recording, or actually, I need to stop uh, the trading right now, and I'm gonna continue after about two hours because right now the market is going in high volatility and I'm gonna just wait for it. Uh, I think that's enough and it's already 21 minutes in the, in the video length. So I, I hope I will be able to make more live trading videos, but only if I see more reviews and more, active, more activity in these videos, because actually, uh, as I said before, guys, uh, the view rates are very low and honestly not that much of comments not that much of uh, interactive uh, from the uh, from the sub subscribers and the members in the videos however i hope this video this video is going to be very informative and very uh, educative for everyone who want to learn more about how they can actually do the day trades um, and they, they do uh, and they can do the scalping anyway uh, in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching